Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand Alliance. COVID-19, it's changed the world. It's changed the way we work. It's changed the way we interact with other people. It's changed the way we plan things. Stay tuned and let me tell you about one of the things that it's changed in my life. So if you're anything like me, I tend to be uh, a planner. I tend to plan ahead. Talked about that in other videos, uh, planning your beard trim, planning your hair trim. And of course, just as COVID-19 hit, I was planning to make some major uh, changes to what's happening here. In fact, I was um, planning with Andy Fisher to do a pretty massive beard trim just the day we were put into quarantine. And so uh, I had planned to keep my hair a little long and get a shorter beard and wear that out for a little bit. And then the bigger plan was sometime this spring, I was talking to some people uh, over in Europe about coming over to get a big haircut. And so that was part of the plan for the spring. So in the scope of all that's happening in the world, um, not a big deal, um, but then you're probably in the same situation where you had made some plans uh, whether they be big, such as a career change, weddings, um, uh, travel, or whether they be small about cutting your hair. Um, but you make plans and this has forced some changes. So what I want to do is look back over the past, it's about 21 months from the time that I got my last haircut until this present day and uh, just uh, show you how much your hair grows in about uh, 21 months. And I'll talk to these as I look at the pictures and we're just going to toggle through these fast. We'll see how fast hair really grows. Um, you saw a lot of these pictures, maybe half of them, as I had shaved off my beard and grew it back. Um, but it's remarkable how much your hair grows and how much it changes from month to month. So let's uh, walk back memory lane. We'll take a look at some of these pictures and then um, I'm going to give you a challenge at the end of this video. So this is where it all started. This is uh, my last haircut, official haircut. This was taken down to about a number one with Jake the Barber, uh, June of 2018. So not quite two years ago. And a couple of my favorite pictures. <laughs> love Jake, love the haircut I got that day. Um, this uh, particular haircut has five and a half million views, which is kind of cool. Anyhow, so at that point I decided I wasn't gonna cut my hair anymore and um, great shot there um, and so uh, these are just in chronological order my hair just growing in slightly um, growing in it's probably um, three weeks um, three weeks old here can comb my hair down make it look smaller in the top um, you can see the sides of my hair are full they're no longer transparent so less than probably a month and just wearing them uh, just a regular barbershop haircut. This is the point I would probably go back and get a haircut. So I can wear a pomp on top. The sides are already getting long, probably to the tune of five weeks. And you can see how much fuller it is on the sides and uh, growing in quickly. I would have definitely gotten a haircut uh, if I wanted to maintain that haircut at this point. So you can see on the sides of my hair, uh, definite fullness. This is probably at about six weeks or eight weeks worth growth already and the hair is filling in on the sides can make it look shorter but uh, definitely getting fuller on the sides uh, at this point i'm starting to use a fair amount of styling balm uh, to get the sides to lay flatter to my head and this is the point where i get my hair cut off so this is in october the end of october october 27th remember the date well where I shaved off my beard. This is, a, I think, a day later because I already have some stubble. And um, within, what is that? Three months, uh, definitely have hair growing on the sides of my head, considerably fuller. If I don't uh, cement my hair down with some styling balm, I would get the wings on the sides, but uh, already getting quite full. This is headed for uh, probably a uh, five, six week beard headed toward the holidays. Yeah, sure enough, here we have holiday time. So uh, hair's pretty full on the sides. You can see it's actually getting long in the back. Um, this is probably, at this point, I would have trimmed just the hairy, the hairy parts of the back of my neck. Uh, Jake calls it the lettuce. So I would have cut off the hairs on the back of my neck at this point. 
But by Christmas, uh, so about uh, five months later, two and a half inches of growth, definitely long sides, longer top, and definitely a long side in the ba or long back. If I would cut off the sides now, I would have a mullet. This is the uh, same period of time, like in this hair, and this is actually uh, Victor with short hair. If you, you'll see him later, he let his hair grow, not quite at the same point, um, but uh, he has decided to go on a long hair journey also. January of 2018, so we're already just about uh, 14 months ago. And the, the hair is definitely longer in the back and being held in place with styling balm on the sides. Still using a hair dryer probably to get a little bit of a wave in the front, but pretty much a wash and go hair for me. Uh, I can, uh, at this length, I can pretty much uh, wash and uh, just uh, comb it into place with a little styling balm as it dries. Um, big difference between here, by combing it into place, holding it into place, and letting it pretty much natural. Um, so within a week, two weeks at most in these two pictures. Uh, hair pretty full, long, and so your hair gets pretty full. Like within six or seven months, you can go from a barbershop haircut to a hair uh, cut that's pretty uh, full, pretty much longer. This is uh, February um, of 2019, so about uh, 14 months ago. You can see the sides uh, definitely have that wing look. Uh, the back is particularly long. You can see the beard is growing in at this point. And um, I actually liked my hair at this length. It is uh, you know, pretty much a haircut that can be made pretty conservative by holding it in place with some product and or let looser. And I uh, particularly like this picture, the way the, the gray hair is starting to look with a little bit of length on it. This is the, the difference between um, letting my hair more natural um, and combing it into, the pl into place. This is the same period, same probably within a week. Really uh, controlling the hair with product and really uh, pulling the side or the back of the hair out of the picture. So this was March uh, 2019 and uh, Braid Barbers, uh, Rob had cut my hair and styled it. This is the last haircut I call, so, uh, got. So not much difference in length here. He added some texture to it, but was able to style it in this uh, fuller way, more of a natural wave showing through. Um, a Justin Bieber, and then more of a typical pompadour. Uh, but see, once again, using some product to comb it into place uh, can look quite different. Um, this was at um, Celebration by Beer Brand and the conference, Alliance Conference, actually uh, last March. And so my hair is uh, um, pretty full and considerably people were noticed that it was long at that point. Here we are with Eric, love this picture, but uh, the hair is pretty full and uh, pretty much uh, wash and wear a little bit of product. I was probably starting to use styling or um, sea salt spray at this point. Waves coming in, as my hair gets longer, it gets wavier. Um, and when it's short, it can be particularly uh, straight. And as it's longer, I get some waves to it. Uh, this would have been about April or so, um, 2019. Uh, spring 2019, about a year ago, my hair has grown from this, and you'll see it uh, where it is now, uh, definitively long in the back. Uh, you can see the sides, or the top is uh, catching up with the side length and it's getting harder to put it up into a pompadour kind of style. This is my first attempt at putting my hair in a ponytail. This was May 2019, uh, half up, half down, um, and a style that I would wear to the gym to get the hair out of my face. Um, taking that hair and kind of smoothing it out with some styling balm, liberal amounts of hairspray to get the hair uh, controlled. Uh, looser wash and wear hair, uh, how I started wearing my hair that summer 2019. Um, that's actually March, or I'm sorry, May 2019. You can see Victor's hair getting a little fuller, mine definitively longer, especially um, when you start seeing the back from the front. I like this, this was summer, probably June 2019. Um, like the hair this length. Uh, any cowlicks that you have uh, start kind of going away a bit. Uh, I have cowlicks in the back of my hair uh, that show up as a swirl when I get a bald fade and they were starting, um, they definitely go away when your hair is this long. Probably my favorite look of my intermediate length 
is just a tousled look. You can actually see the length on the back and the fact that uh, layers are growing out on the back of your hair. And so that little fringe on the bottom, I probably would trim that off one more time, maybe taking a, a half an inch or an inch off the bottom of my hair. If you picture all of your hair being you know, the same length on the back, it continues to all be the same length as it grows in, and the top doesn't catch up for a long time. And that's why it's harder to put your hair in a ponytail because you're waiting for those shortest hairs to catch up. But uh, I think one of the best looks for uh, my haircut, or uh, for my medium length hair. Favorite length also, uh, toward the end of the summer, um, hair getting definitely long. I've started uh, being recognized as having long hair and started getting the question from a lot of people, when are you getting your hair cut? And this is when I felt that my hair was uh, definitely long. Getting harder to contain and getting harder to keep into place uh, at a professional level. And not that you can't have hair as a professional, but I don't want um, the focus of the hair to always be um, so evident. And I feel when my hair is loose and down like this, it seems to be a lot about hair. Uh, these pictures were done for uh, the history of long hair and pulled it up on the top of my hair. Um, truth be told, I'm wearing actually a little bit of uh, extension hair in this picture to get the knot a little bigger on the top, but my hair was fitting up into a ponytail on the top of my hair at this point. That's the real length of my hair at this point. Uh, this would be heading into the fall 2019. Uh, hair clearly fits into a ponytail at that point. So this is uh, around uh, November uh, 2019, so just uh, three or four months ago and the hair is definitely long. Straightened out Christmas uh, 2019, so about four months ago, and I was able to wear that uh, through the holiday season in conjunction with uh, a bigger beard. I had grown my beard starting in uh, late summer. You can see in these pictures, if you go back and look, my beard was getting longer as my hair was getting longer. So it was uh, January uh, 2020. You can see Victor uh, hasn't had a haircut either. His is getting definitively long. And so this would be a look that I would wear uh, my hair down, uh, even with a, an occasion where I would be wearing a suit. Picture's pretty recent, uh, the uh, next couple, um, are pretty much what my hair looks like from day to day now. Um, you, can, this is, you can see the length on the back of my hair uh, from uh, February 2020. And very recent picture taken in April 2020. So those are my two current looks, wearing my hair down and uh, my mustache lightened here for this picture or my hair pulled back in a ponytail or a man bun. So contrasting that with where I was uh, 20 months ago, pretty long. So there you go guys, uh, that's about 21 months of the history of my long hair. The reason I bring this up is because I'm a little frustrated with the current uh, uh, state of my hair. It looks fine but I was prepared to get it cut and a little disappointed that I can't do it. But I think we're gonna hold out. I think I'm gonna do a beard trim uh, coming up, so be on the lookout for that. Probably in the next uh, two or three weeks, we'll be doing a trim, because we don't know how long we're gonna be in quarantine, and I'm not gonna wait much longer. But I'm not gonna tackle my hair on my own. Is there a particular period uh, where you liked my hair best? A lot of guys like my hair as a barbershop cut, and I get it. I love getting my hair cut in a barbershop. I love the experience, and I like the way uh, you know short hair feels, and um, I just like a lot of stuff related to having a barbershop cut. But I think I might look better when my hair is a little fuller, a little longer. Maybe in that, uh, like, I'm gonna say like 10 month, 12 month period. But why don't you comment below and tell us what you think the best length of my haircut is and maybe that'll be a contender for what I do when quarantine is over and then I uh, jump across the pond to get that haircut. Till we meet again.